Hi, I'm Darren Cox. We're here today on the Match Lake at Larford. It's um, about that time of year where the, the days are getting that little bit longer. The water's not particularly cold, uh, not particularly warm at Larford. We've had some cold weather, but we've got these longer days, and it's a real good signal for going down the edge. You know, in winter, we don't fish down the edge very often. The fish don't come that close in on these big lakes. But this time of year, they're creeping and creeping, and the longer the days go, the bigger that window to catch. And there's some, we've had some fantastic fish today. Um, we started fishing relatively early down the edge. We've got a few signs, put some bait in. Fishing a great big feed, you see. Not, not shy of putting bait in. So these fish have woken up. Um, the water's only sort of eight degrees, but it's, it's still, it's warm enough to catch fish down the edge. And it's, you know, for, for me, it's all about light. The clocks are going forward and the fish are moving close in and I'm literally just fishing right down the edge. The water levels are still up here at Larford after the floods um, a few weeks ago. But the fish certainly don't seem to mind it. The, say it's all about temperature and, and, and daylight. And all I'm doing today is starting to catch a few fish early on. A little bit further out, but quickly the fish came down the edge. And there's one, oh, straight away. <laughs> Instant. Lots and lots of F1s there. But the, the carp seem to come in in bursts. You get you get two or three F1s, and this is probably one of the smallest F1s I've had today. You get two or three of those, and um, all of a sudden the, the silly rattles where the F1s are hitting your feet they seem to stop and you start to get a few big twangs on the, feet, on the, on the tip, and that's when the carp move in. Gear-wise, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually not shy at all in terms of line and hooks. I'm fishing a size 12 QM1. I've got I've now got 022 hook length on, I had 020 on. Just gave it a try, see if it made any difference. But as I said a minute ago, I'm using a bigger feeder. This is a 28 gram hybrid day and get a lot of bait on that. But I'm I'm giving them a little bit of a sandwich. If if I was fishing a pole, I'd be putting lots of ground bait in, lots of micro pellets and some particles. So, because I often fish feeder only matches here, I like to try and understand exactly the right way to do it. And for me, a really good way is to, I've got a mix here of, of mainly micro pellets. And I use that as my base mix and I ram that in, hard into there. And that for me is important because if the fish are coming and hitting the bait, there's always some bait in that feeder and there's always something for them to come back to. And then, you can see I've got a 10mm punch piece of meat on that I've caught on double corn today. I've caught on maggots and all sorts. But the critical thing when I call it sandwich is I'm then putting loose ground bait with maggots, a few bits of corn and some micro pellets in. So all I'm doing there is I'm, I'm literally just dropping it on top. Got a huge bait with a few particles on it. Filling it up and it... It's the size of half a coconut. It looks awful. And people must think I'm a right noddy sometimes when we see this, but you know, it really, really works. Drop it in. You just, if you were fishing a pole, you'd be constantly putting like big pots in or, or little um, little bits of pot with the pot on your pole whilst you're fishing. And all we're trying to do is just put enough bait in there to keep these fish going. There's a lot of fish and there's a, there's a lot of fish coming in and eating and they're eating a lot of bait. Um, for me one of the important things when you're fishing down there is like this. Yeah most people know when you're fishing short you've got to have your, 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 clutch, your drag set very very light because you pick the fish up and the kite out. But one of the things that I've found really good over the last few years is to use a softer rod. Still got plenty of power but it's a parabolic action. So you get the bite and you can pick the rod up and the fish almost doesn't really know that, oh there's one look the fish, see how the rod's bending there fish doesn't doesn't pull back that hard again this is another f1 they're just the the cushion of the rod is just ideal and you can get the fishing really quickly 
This is the um, 11 foot essential method, which very slim rod, but lovely soft action. Parabolic action is the key. You have too much power in the rod and you, you do regularly bump so many fish off. You see there, look, I've, I've still got some ground bait, uh, some pellets in my feeder left in the base. So there's always that little bit of ground bait or pellets or whatever left in there. I'm using a long spike on, on the, uh, a long hair on the spike with a quick stop. I'm just spiking it up. If I was fishing a match, I'd probably have sort of two, two feeders on the go, but it's that good at the moment that I probably wouldn't even have time to load up two feeders, so I'll just carry on with one. So, it, it, as I say, it looks, it looks crazy. It, there's, you know, you can almost see me hand printing that, but all I want, I want to get that out there, and I want that bait to fall straight off, because the fish are hitting it, and there's loads of bait there, and when there's loads of bait there, the fish are coming and hitting it, and the, and the, the, the oh, look at that, instantly, look. Just, that was literally seconds. They're just not bothered about what they actually eat. They're just, they're just grubbing all the bait. And normally, F1s on a 22 and a 12 in spring, that's got to be the right way to catch fish. You know, you can't catch fish that quickly if you're fishing with small hooks and uh, light line. For me, it's just a really great way if you haven't tried fishing the feeder down the edge, have a go, you'll be, you'll be amazed at how effective it is. It just seems to work. You know, on the pole, you don't, you know, you're getting lift and drop bites, you're lifting up, you see fish spook out. With the feeder, you put the feeder in, fish with a relatively slack line, and you just wait for the, the rod to pull round. You don't lift up at miss bites, you don't think, oh, that's on and it's not on. It's either a go around or a great big drop back and it's fish and it's on. And you've got the gear on to catch them and it's a really great way of catching a big weight of fish any time of the year. So give it a go if you've never tried it.